Hello everyone, this is PK Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about and review the second trailer for Cobra Kai Season 5. Now there might be spoilers in this review for the previous 4 seasons of the show so just beware when going to this overall video and you can check out my previous coverage of all 4 seasons and I'll leave some links in the description. Now if you've been watching my channel you'll know that I'll deem Cobra Kai currently the best show on television and I think it's been that way for at least 3 years now. It really is the perfect example and blueprint on how to continue an iconic franchise where you respect the previous law and also make it contemporary for a new audience. And season 4 continued the great form as we saw the return of iconic villain Terry Silver from Karate Kid Part 3 and we saw him usurp control over Cobra Kai from John Kreese and look to expand the franchise, setting up John Kreese to be arrested in the process. We saw Miguel separating from Johnny to search for his original father in Mexico, and Daniel decided to go on the aggressive and team up with Chao Zen in order to take down Cobra Kai. So there were plenty of elements to look forward to for the fifth season, and this second trailer definitely promised another action-packed and dramatic instalment to the series. And the trailer itself starts off with Silver asserting his status as an established philanthropist as Daniel refers to him and we see Silver once again being very much the charismatic showman, charming all of the people and at the same time promoting the Cobra Kai dojos and this again will give Thomas Ian Griffith lots of range to showcase a lot of the personality that we've become accustomed to with Terry Silver having that same confidence and bravado we see in one scene where he's chatting up Amanda so that's very interesting and it'll be very good to see how Terry Silver imposes himself much more as the main antagonist throughout the season. So it's just great to see Thomas Ian Griffith back in a role once more. We then had a strange scene where we saw Johnny talking to two young girls in a big van and I made the initial mistake of thinking that he was initially recruiting more students for the Eagle Fang Dojo but he's actually a taxi driver and I think this is absolutely hilarious and this really continues the arc of where we catched up with at the end of the fourth season where we see Johnny separating from the Miyagi Do Dojo and once again becoming a lot more disillusioned following the departure from Miguel. And later on within the trailer, it seems that Johnny is focusing very much on trying to reconcile Robbie and Miguel with very little success, it seems, as it seems the conflict is going to continue between the two. But I'm sure they'll either team up at the end or have a rematch at the next overall tournament. We then later on see Daniel splitting up Miyagi Dojo and Eagle Fang as he looks to collaborate far more with Chosen, as I mentioned before, taking on a far more aggressive approach against Cobra Kai. But the dynamic seems to change once again when we see Johnny teaming up with Chao Zen in what I'm sure will be some awesome scenes together and it really is quite the turn of events seeing the two antagonists from the first two movies team up together and it all makes sense in terms of the story and this is another great sign as to why this show works so much so I'm looking very much to seeing the collaboration between both Johnny and Chao Zim. We then had an interesting new introduction where we saw Silver recruiting new senseis in order to sharpen up the Cobra Kai students and we had a one particular female trainer who seems to be the lead in terms of these new senseis and we see her particularly trying to toughen up Tori and getting her to be far more aggressive and cutthroat in terms of attacking her opponents. I believe the actress playing the role here is Alicia Hannah Kim and it'll be very interesting to ha see how much of a character they make her throughout this entire season and it does freshens up the mix and dynamics of the characters within the series. Now it's been speculated and practically confirmed that the other major antagonist from Karate Kid Part 3, Mike Barnes, will also be participating in this season. And in this scene here where we see Johnny and Chao Zen entering the dojo, it could be going up against Mike Barnes and it'll be absolutely fascinating to watch to see how Barnes has come forward in terms of his overall journey. If you remember from Part 3, he was initially in partnership with Terry Silver to have a certain ownership over the Cobra Kai dojos if he managed to convince Daniel to take part in the tournament once more. So this is again a great sign of how the show is able to take these iconic characters from the franchise and still make them relevant and prominent to the overall story so it'll be absolutely interesting to see how Mike Barnes comes back into the fold. Will we get a repeat of the narrative that we saw with Silver and Crease when Silver was introduced first of all in a smaller role and then went on to become the far more dominant antagonist but it'll be absolutely great to see Mike Barnes once again in this role. We then talk about Daniel and it seems that he'll be going on a much more of a darker arc as he 
strives to take down Cobra Kai and we see an earlier scene where he's conflicting with Amanda and even Silver himself warns Daniel of going down a certain path and how it could overall change his life. So how far will Daniel be willing to go in order to take down Cobra Kai and how much will it cost him? Will we see some devastating effects at the end of this season? We'll wait and see. I don't think there'll be a family death but I wouldn't be surprised if Daniel ends up at a very low point at the end of this season. Now we did get plenty of clips of the younger characters all in action, training and facing off against each other. So we'll get plenty of action and spectacle throughout this season as what we normally do with this show. And then we had a great end to the trailer where we catch up with Chris in prison after being set up by Silver as I mentioned before. And we see him very much making friends with the fellow inmates in typical Chris fashion resulting in him getting involved in all of these fights so it's going to generate a lot of humor and comedy as we see crease adjusting to life in prison and we do question how prominent will crease be throughout this season will he get out of prison and team up with the others to get vengeance against silver will he very much start his own cobra kai dojo in terms of the prison and will he come out and start his own band against silver as well so there's so many fascinating plot points and potential storylines and it's just great to see crease once again throughout the season and they've did such a brilliant job in developing this character in both previous seasons two and three where of course we had the introduction of his vietnam backstory and i think this added such an amount of depth and layer to the overall character so once again from this trailer all positive signs are showing for another great season of the series and once again it's not very easy to predict exactly what's happened and again that's what makes this show so special. We're going to get of course plenty of action and drama and spectacle once again from this fifth season overall and my only concern as I've mentioned multiple times is not the quality of the show it's just necessarily will it eventually outstay its welcome. Now I'll just talk again about diminishing returns no matter how good a show is eventually you're going to get that one season when the quality dips and because every season of Cobra Kai has been of such a high quality if we do eventually get that dip it's going to seem far more severe than perhaps it actually is to be and I don't want that to happen to this show I want this to remain of a consistent high quality so it can really stand up there as the true example of how to handle and continue an iconic franchise so that's been my overall worry going ahead with this show overall but so far from this trailer it doesn't seem like we'll reach that point yet it seems that we're going to get another great installment of the show with plenty of action along with great storytelling and characterization to go along with this overall series so there's my overall thoughts and feelings and review of the second trailer for Cobra Kai Season 5. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you still excited for this show? Do you think Season 5 can continue to maintain the great form that we've seen from the previous four seasons? Or do you think Season 5 should be at last? And are you worried like me that the show could potentially run out of steam if they continue to carry on with the show for multiple seasons after this year let me know what you think in the comments and as usual when the show does arrive on september the 9th this year i will provide series premiere reviews finale reviews and also a review of the season overall and if there are any other particular standard episodes then we'll provide coverage of those as well so if there are any other shows within Netflix or Amazon or any other streaming platform that you'd like to see me cover within the channel, let me know within the comments and I will see if I can provide commentary on those series for you on the future within the channel. Please also hit and like those subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves, stay in safe distances and I will see you very, very soon.